Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here with the watch list video for Monday, November 13th. Um, you know, Friday was the observed holiday for Veterans Day, and so we were kind of expecting a dead day, but I mean, look at the SPY. Uh, very, very strong. It's above all the moving averages we watch. Um, pretty impressive. And a couple highlights from chat. You guys know I like to do that, especially for those that didn't make it to work. Um, you can see what happened, right? So you, Unity Software, was one of our new gap down reversal watches, right? Um, we're working on uh, the parameters for them, but let's go to five minute candles. And I don't know, eight minutes in maybe, Kevin M gave the idea um, or pointed out the seller at 24. So it came up, hit 24, pulled back a bit. Uh, the, basically, he was basically saying uh, through 24 idea. The stop would have been below this candle um, so probably about 80 cents risk, but still look at the look at the R you got on that if you took the 24 break. Um, exceeded all expectations. It actually went to, I'm not sure, 27.15 maybe. So really nice move. And really you were never, maybe a minute or two, you might have been underwater. Um, so really nice call there. And then uh, Jonathan L gave Illumina another one of our gap down reversal plays. You can see right here, it hit 94.94, kind of goes sideways for a while and then comes up and breaks the highs, but stops at that whole number 95. It hit 95 right here, hit 95 right here. Jonathan L gave the heads up on the 95 break idea. And once it broke 95, this doesn't look like much, but it went to all the way to 98.56, right? So $3.56 risk. And the stop was a little over 50 cents. Um, so really nice R there as well. And we're having really good success working on these gap down reversal setups. Um, again, still building the parameters for what we would deem to call A plus in the future. Um, but so far, this experiment is adding uh, a well, adding ideas to our. I don't want to say A plus yet because we don't have all the parameters in place. But it's adding ideas and a, a whole bunch of nice profitable trades over this past week. Um, you know, trying to add to our our playbook, if you will. So really enjoying the way we're all working together on the gap down reversal setups and. Um, there's no shortage of people posting when they're setting up. So, um, you know, again, as, as Wayne always says, this chat room, uh, you guys kind of form the best scanner out there. Think about it. Think how many of you already have like scanners, like trade ideas, right? And you're watching for volume spikes and that sort of thing. And then how many of you also uh, taken the course and know the A plus setups. So if you watch the chat room, there's almost always something being posted that you wouldn't have seen if you weren't in the chat room. So anyway, I absolutely love the teamwork. Wayne's right. Uh, the, the room itself is a great scanner and I'm loving the experiments on the new setups, right? Um, with that all said, let me put out my normal thing. And this is for some of the new faces in the room. So I uh, just want everybody to understand this is an investment, right? So I'll just go through it real quick. This is a video of stocks I'll be watching for intraday long setups tomorrow. Um, these are stocks that are in play lately and have a strong chance of giving a good setup for a day trade. I do not hold anything overnight, even my wife. I know that joke never gets old. It's not worth the risk to me. Stocks can gap down the next morning and also my wife can be dangerous. Um, most people think that every trader is an investor. A true day trader looks for intraday opportunities and goes to 100% cash each night. Uh, we do have investors in the room, but they still log in and hope to make some money between the bells on some of these setups that we teach, right? So with that in mind, here are the stocks I'm going to be watching on Monday for potential intraday setups. And here, um, DOCS had the gap up. Closed below, it's open, but I still think it's worth keeping on watch. DRCT, very strong breakout on Friday. We'll see if we get a, any kind of a follow-through setup there. Blink, which is Blink Charging, had a really nice pop on what looked like good earnings. Big volume, closing well off its highs. There's a lot of shorts in the name, so that might have another day tomorrow, right? We'll see. B-I-L-L -L I'm viewing as an overdone gap or just a beaten up stock. Um, and we had the big gap down on our Thursday and that was, uh, that met our bounce play or what do I, what do I call them? <laughs> gap down reversal setup. I'm still getting used to that name for that setup. Um, and gave a huge trade for those who were able to get it and then kind of put in an inside day. But I, I'm leaning on the long side on this one. So we are going to watch it for a long setup. That's B-I-L-L. -L. T-W-L-O is Twilio. You had the uh, gap up on earnings, I think, on Thursday and a nasty reversal. But look at that on Friday. It's right back up. So you may have some shorts caught there. VZIO, I believe this was on earnings. Nice breakout. We'll see if it gives a follow-through setup. 
PLNT is Planet Fitness, had the gap up on earnings and is already back up near those highs, so potential pop there. Um, T-N-O-N. I had a really nice three-day run. Now you've got a couple days down on lower volume. I'm putting that on Bounce Watch. L-M-N-D was on Bounce Watch. And now it's in that buy zone we like between the 8 and the 20. So we're definitely going to keep our eyes on that for a turn back up. I know they had an offering. Um, really doesn't negate the idea. So we are going to have it on watch. V-E-R-V, really nice run from here to here. Three days lower on lower volume at least than the big pops. So that one goes on Bounce Watch again. No trades in it on Friday. Um, Sava is back down to the 20 day, maybe even slightly below it, but a big runner and now has gotten down to the 20 day on, on fairly low volume. So I'm going to put that on bounce watch. Save is actually starting to feel like it's going to zero and maybe lower. I'm kidding. I mean, just looking at the chart though, I'm making a, you know, it, this thing has gotten no bid whatsoever since I started watching it for a bounce. Um, but at the same time, it's still worth watching for a bounce play setup. Pretty heavy though, right? And then TH uh, had the gap up on earnings and then you got three straight red days in a row. It's down below support now, but I still think a snapback bounce could be in order. So I'll have it on watch for that possibility. That's it for me. I'm done blab babbling. Uh, I can't even say babbling right. And we'll see everybody in the chat room on, uh, on Monday morning. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.